Hello and welcome to the Inbox Collector podcast. This is um, an absolute awesome bit of news, guys. I know who the final figure is. I think you all know who the final figure is of the Disney Plus shows, um, Disney Marvel Plus shows. Here on the screen, we've got Moon Knight, we've got Miss Marvel, Kate Bishop, Hawkeye. Um, but there's a final box there on the end, and we don't know who it is. Well, courtesy of Tugnaut Collectibles, who sadly can't be with me today because just like the rest of us, he's got a job to do. He's given me this um, information. There she is. She-Hulk, of course, played by Tatiana. This is super cool. And they're not in windowless boxes, which is absolutely awesome for someone like me who likes to keep them in the boxes and keep them on the shelves. She is coming with that final bit of Ultron there. It looks like a leg. So that is really cool. Let's have a look at some of the shots of her. This is absolutely amazing. We knew we were getting a She-Hulk. She looks really good from the pictures here that I can see. Um, and I think a lot of people will be looking forward to getting her. I think this looks like a good um, interpretation of what we've seen from the trailers. Talking of trailers, it's been confirmed that in the at the end of the trailer, we did see Daredevil sporting his red and yellow costume. How cool is that? So that is another bit of breaking news if you're watching this uh, channel, which is really cool. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. Really excited about this line now because I've already gone in on the Moon Knight, so I'm probably going to go in on the rest of them too. But that's not all. We've also got the Builder Figure Wave for the Black Panther. Let's take a look. So we have got Okoye. We've got Nakia. And we have got Namor in this shot here. Um, but unfortunately, these are in windowless boxes, which is such a drag, especially for someone like me who likes to keep them in the box and display them on the shelves. And I know there's a good percentage. It's not a huge percentage of people that do this. I understand that. Maybe it's around 15 to 20 percent. Maybe it's a little less. But it's annoying that they're putting them in these windowless boxes. But nevertheless, let's take a look at what we've got here. We also are going to get... Hatsu, um, apparently this was one that you want to pick up if you wanted to build an army. I hope I've pronounced that right. I think it's Hatut, sorry. Um, and then we've got the Black Panther from the comics, the comic book version. We saw both of these reveals at San Diego Comic Con. Then we get a look at Namor. Absolutely, he looks really good. This Namor looks really good, I have to admit. It's just a shame because I would have to take it out of the box. I couldn't leave it in a box because I wouldn't know of the quality. We've already seen some scares where people have like opened it and the paint job's not finished properly. That was seen on Dan Who Reviews. He had a spy, um, I think it was a Spinetta or Spinetta. I can't remember her name now. Um, but basically, he, he had a bad paint job on his. Um, I saw that on Instagram. Checked out his video there. And yeah, so... This windowless box thing just sucks. But never mind. Nevertheless, there is a first look at Namor. Then we've got Everett Ross. So if you were looking for an Everett Ross for your collection, of course, we had Loki already with his jacket on. But now we've got an Everett Ross to go with the Loki. So that is a pretty cool reveal. I hope you'll agree. Um, yeah. Next, we've got Nakia. Um, she looks absolutely amazing. Looks like she comes with, I've, I'm guessing that's going to be a second head there looking at that. That's not going to be um, a helmet you pop on. So we're going to have two heads for that one. So that's pretty cool. And I think she looks out of all of them the most detailed. That looks on these pictures really, really good. Um, so I'd be looking forward to seeing what that looks like. Of course, we get... Um, <clears throat> We get the Wakandan warrior, Okoye, and she looks absolutely amazing. Of course, we've had Okoye before, but hey, another Okoye, if you want one or if you missed one, it's always a great one to add. And these are all building the builder figure. Yes, Atom or Atuma. I don't know how to pronounce this, to be honest. I do have the original Fantastic Four animated version. But this looks absolutely amazing. My thought process in this now is, or this is all speculation, of course, but I'm thinking that obviously there's going to be a bit of a dispute between um, the Wakandans 
and Prince Namor. And this guy's always trying to overthrow Namor. So he's going to come into the mix somewhere. And that is going to be your builder figure. So that looks absolutely awesome. Um, looks very, these all look really detailed, highly detailed action figures. So that is exciting. It's just so annoying that basically we're not going to be able to see them in a in a box in a in a screen and i i'm really annoyed about the way that this is going um let me know in the comments what you guys think but that is um you know one of those things that they seem to be doing they seem to be going in this direction um luckily they haven't done it with the retro beast and the other fit, uh, retro spider-man sort of style things yet but it seems to be a lot of the action figures are going to be going this way um which is very annoying um, but nevertheless, if you've enjoyed this content, if you want to see more of this kind of content, make sure you hit that like, make sure you hit that subscribe. Until next time, guys, good luck searching for that toy goat.